Normally I would start out by putting on fresh sheets and cleaning my space so that like my mind is also clean. I just feel like I feel so much better when my space is clean. But I have really gone all out with the pampering and I've booked a night at a hotel. Carrie and I are having a little staycation while I pamper myself. Honey, how nice is this room though? Let's go girls. Chicky bow wow. <laughs> so I am starting off by dry brushing my skin. This is amazing for exfoliation and is also meant to detoxify your body by increasing blood circulation and promoting lymphatic drainage. Okay, so I'm gonna start off my pamper routine with a shower and first and foremost I'm gonna treat my hair because it's very important to look after your hair. This video is sponsored by Function of Beauty, so I'm gonna be using their shampoo and conditioner today. Honestly, this is the best way to pamper your hair because it is specifically designed for your hair. You go online, you take a two minute quiz and you tell them what type of hair you have, what you want this to help with in your hair. So for me, I want some volume. I also want it to help with the fact that I straighten my hair a lot because honestly, guys, I got my hair cut and I'm looking a lot like Lord Farquaad, let's be real. So I need to just fix this mop. Also the shampoos and conditioners that you buy at the supermarket are so bad for your hair. They might feel great, but in the long run, they're just gonna damage your hair. They don't have good ingredients in them, but these have no parabens, no sulfates, no toxins. They're also 100% vegan and cruelty free. And you get to choose the color and the fragrance. So I chose black. Honestly, the reason I got black is just because it matches my house. So I love that because I don't know, all the ones you buy, like the hairdressers, they just kind of look ugly in my bathroom, but these look and I'm not using it right now because, I don't know, look, I'm aesthetic and I like the way that these little things look, but they also come with pumps. And if you guys do want to try these products, I will have all of the information down below and you can also click a link below to get 20% off your first order. When I get in the shower, I start off by shampooing my hair twice just to really deep clean it. I don't do this every time I wash my hair, just on pamper days or when it's got a lot of product in it or quite dirty or just when I've gone a few days without washing it. After that, I go ahead and condition. I like to leave my conditioner in for a few minutes. I know it's a myth that that actually does anything, but I like to leave it in for a few minutes. So while that's sitting, I go ahead and exfoliate using my Frank body scrub. And this honestly makes my skin feel like a baby's but, but I also do this before I shave just to prevent any ingrown hairs. I wash them both off. I lather my body up in soap and then I go ahead and shave and I shave my arms too just because I like the feeling of it and also it creates a really nice base for my fake tan which I also do on my pamper days. After my shower, I had my brunch. It was late morning for me. It's my pamper day, you know, I slept in. So I started by making some fruit infused water. I use lemon and strawberry. And to be completely honest, I only do this because it makes me feel like I'm having a fancy spa day at home. I just love it. And here is me trying to make it look all pretty for the video. <laughs> Bye. So I go and put that in the fridge while I make my breakfast. For food, I don't like to have anything too heavy or super unhealthy because I've done that before as a treat yourself type of vibe and it just ruined my whole pamper day because I felt super gross afterwards. So I just made some avocado, lemon and tomato on crackers and it was delicious and I felt great and I watched my favorite show as I ate. And very important, took my probiotics and my iron tablets. 
After breakfast, it's time to move on to my skincare. I start off by plucking my brows and my upper lip and cleaning out my ears. And then I wash my face with my Dermalogica Clearing Skin Wash. I wash for about 60 seconds, give or take. And I also, unlike the Kardashians, do wash my forehead. <laughs> and I also wash my neck. And then after I wash my face, I also take my hair out of the wrap because I just don't like to leave it like that for too long. And I like to let it air dry. So I use a large tooth comb to brush it out, starting at the root end and making my way to the roots. To exfoliate, I use the Daily Peel Pads by Dr. Dennis Gross. I love these. I just feel like my skin has been so radiant since I started using them. And who doesn't love a good nose strip? They are so satisfying. And also, I don't normally do this next part, but I want it to be extra and whiten my teeth. I use some strips from The Chemist and listen. To be honest, I took them out after about two minutes and then I put new ones in just before <laughs> I had to take them out again just to preserve the aesthetic of my video because they were just hurting my teeth way too much. Nail time! My nails were in dire need of a little TLC so I cut them, I filed them, I buffed them, I painted them, I treated them to a little bit of cuticle oil and just lathered my hands up with some hand cream and they were just looking beautiful if I do say so myself. So here is me putting new teeth whitening strips in to take out for the video. <laughs> and then it is time to prep for my bath because what is a pamper routine without a bath? I'm first just exfoliating my lips with my Lush Cookie Dough Lip Scrub and then putting on a lip mask before running a nice hot bath. I put some Epsom salts in because it's a muscle relaxer so you just feel so incredibly relaxed mixed with the hot water and a lavender bubble bath from Lush which of course just added to the whole thing because lavender is a super relaxing smell. I love it and I just love a good bubble bath. I put on some relaxing music and lit some candles. I put on an eye mask and also a deep hydration sheet mask because my skin has been so incredibly dry lately and I hopped in the bath. Afterwards, I finished off my skincare. I started out with some eye cream. I've been using the eye serum from Drunk Elephant lately, which I really like. And then I went in with my serums. I used the clarifying serum from Dr. Barbara Strum. And then I also used a deep hydration serum from Dr. Dennis Gross. I popped on some lip balm and also my moisturizer from Dermalogica before I headed out for some dinner. So normally on my pamper days, I would order Uber Eats for dinner because, I mean, it's my treat myself, Dan, I don't want to cook. And I would normally order either something light or like a pasta. I don't want something that's going to make me feel gross after eating it. But Kerry and I tonight are going out for a nice, fancy Italian dinner and I'm so excited. <laughs> When we get back from dinner, it's time to fake tan. This always makes me feel so good. So I start by moisturizing places where tan might stick to, like my elbows, my underarms, my hands and feet, and applying a buttload of tan. Then I go ahead and I spritz the bread with some Twilight Spray by Lush. This is just so relaxing before bed. It's kind of like spraying a sleep spray. And then I hop into bed with Kerry and we watch our favorite show together. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so it's the next day. I just woke up, washed my tail off, moisturized my whole body. And let me see if you guys can see in this light. Oh yeah, look how silky my hair is. I looked up the fragrance for you guys because it smells that good. And I got medium strength flower to the people. Oh. Oh my goodness, so good. So I will leave all of the information for that down in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.